If I were to say to you, there's one thing that I can tell you that can really turn your life around, I'm sure most of you would want to hear it. And this is one of those things that I think is a very powerful thing, although it's a very simple thing. I want to talk to you today about focusing on the positive things in life. You know, the Bible says I set before you good and evil, blessings and cursings, life and death. Choose life. Choose the good. So we all have choices to make every day. And today I want to talk to you about making a choice about what you're going to focus on. There's all kinds of positive things going on in, in the world, in, in your life, in my life, but there's also usually negative things going on in the world. And you know, right now, there's probably a lot, of, lot more negative things going on than what we're accustomed to, but there are still good things happening and we need to find them and we need to focus on them. When we get together with friends for lunch or a cup of coffee, we need to find positive things to focus on and to talk about rather than just doing nothing but talking about all the problems in our lives and all the problems going on in the world. I'm not suggesting that we ignore our problems, but I am suggesting we don't focus on them. Find the good and focus on it. In Hebrews 12, 2, it says... Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and then he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I like the Amplified Translation personally, and it says, looking away from all that will distract unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. You have a choice of what to look at, what are you going to set your mind on today? Good things that are going to lift you up and build you up are things that are going to make you sad and depressed and discouraged and tear you down. 